future. So I'm now going to introduce our local member, Sandy Bolton. For those of you with an imagination, the, the job of an independent MP is an absolutely thankless one. There is no party machine giving you support, telling you how to vote or how not to vote. It takes someone of great intelligence and energy and empathy to work with the local community to know how the local community would like them to act and to vote. We're lucky to have such a person as Sandy Bolton here representing Noosa. Please welcome Sandy Bolton. I'm not sure what to say after that introduction at all, but thank you. I do acknowledge the traditional custodians, Kabi Kabi or Gabi Gabi, and it's always interesting the debates we get into when we're asking different uh, First Nations people about actually how to pronounce it. And I'm not even going to try because it is down here and I sound like a frog, so it, it, it's not good. I want to acknowledge, of course, Mayor Claire, but the whole Zen team, and for many of you, you will know, they are volunteers and the work that they do, everyone that's involved has been a long journey, an amazing journey and uh, our appreciation to all of you. Um, of course, Fiona, uh, welcome aboard to an amazing community, uh, very diverse, very passionate uh, as our debates are often. As most of you will know, last Monday the Intergovernment Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, released its final report on the state of scientific knowledge. Now, I know there's been, in this community, a lot of passionate debate around that as well over the years. However, the, in a nutshell, what they said is, uh, we do, we've got to get those emissions down and we've got to get uh, the, the warming down by 1.5 degrees. So one of the report authors, Professor Peter Thorne, said, do not say it is your government's problem, your community's problem, it is your problem. That's every single one of us. And as part of that country to make a difference. We need to be enabled by governments, but action is needed at all levels, from intergovernmental, through governments, through communities, right down to you and I, and what we do every day. Whether we take the walk instead of the car, whether we keep switching all those lights on instead of switching them off, every single bit makes a difference. Now, Zen is a great example of getting on with the job. They always have, and, and the history ever since they first started. They do, in practical ways. Um, and they've worked intensively behind the scenes now for some years to develop the relationships you need. And let's be real, to get anything done, you need relationships. It's that collaboration, it's the connectivity, which they have done, including with Energy Queensland, Energex and the Department of Energy. So, you know, I'd, I'd love to see how many times the hook I heard you use, you know, <laughs> some interesting uh, analogies before, but it, it does take a lot. So um, this workshop today is part of their commitment that they do as part of the grant um, that they receive from the Department of Environment and Science, uh, the Community Sustainability Action Grant. Uh, and that was to enable uh, the development of a business plan, which, as you know, we all need, for a network of community batteries in the Noosa local government area. Uh, the projects are good fit in multiple ways, but I think the reality is energy storage, storage and more storage is, is part of the mix that's going to enable the targets being sought to be met. So I'm not going to prattle on a lot about what Queensland's already doing, but there is the first uh, of the community batteries have been launched, so $10 million in a private-public partnership. Um, so 35 locally manufactured neighbourhood batteries went in across Ipswich. And I don't know, have they been finished, the installation? No, no, not not yet. yet, they're just starting, uh, yep. Um, and that includes, of course, there's, there's a lot of work that goes into that. And I asked earlier, well, how much is a battery? And I know that, you know, seeking a grant um, of half a million dollars, so basically of that, one battery is going to cost 400000 I'm going, wow. It was really cool, though, when I was talking to Mark earlier, one of my questions uh, has been, for probably the last eight or ten months, maybe longer, 
what happens to all these batteries? What happens to all the turbines? You know, how do we recycle, repurpose instead of the cases where we're hearing of they're going into landfill? And it was really good to hear that these batteries being lithium, and what is it, 95%? is totally recyclable and there's actually a company doing that but i'm sure i'm not going to tell all mm -hmm. what's happening there but i think that's really good because it's a question that i've had on behalf of this community why change to something if we've still got all these things to deal with afterwards and uh, it's not good enough to say oh we'll, we'll develop a strategy or we'll get a plan going to deal with it we have to know in advance so yes the world is changing uh, and we can be proud that Noosa and I know, I think it was eight years ago, but sometimes my memory, uh, there's so much goes on all the time that there was a lot of work put into trying to get a precinct together to do, to roll something like this out. And that was the Noosa Lakes yes. resort. Yes. yes. Um, so I know this journey has been very long, but uh, I really want to say how excited I am. And I'm, I'm, I want to say uh, deep gratitude to Mayor Claire and Noosa Council for partnering with Zen and you really do need those partners, it's about the relationships and uh, Yarra Energy Foundation to seek that $500,000 federal government grant uh, to get the first of our community batteries here in Nooseville. It's not my, that, that's not where I live, how come you're not putting it where I live? <laughs> so look, this battery's a great start and I know that Zen will be focused not only beyond and, and hopefully there's an announcement in end of April as to whether we're getting the money um, because we know that across the community we're looking at 100 or 200 of these but this is very much today about the start of this process and sometimes you know they say little steps and big steps but those first steps are hard fought for and when they arrive it is something to really celebrate. So this is much more about reducing emissions and uh, I'm sure you'll hear later on in the workshop and I'll apologise in advance that I can't stay for the session. Uh, Mayor Claire and I are both um, booked fairly solid but it has been good to be here. So these types of innovation there is, there's skilled jobs especially for our youngsters who are coming through um, as part of their STEM curricula uh, and a greater importance and appreciation of the connectivity. So congratulations to the whole Zen team, also to Noosa Council and everyone involved. I wish everyone the best of endeavours. You know that you always have our support, but please continue taking that message. It isn't just for government. It's not for these volunteers. It's not it's every single one of us. And we can make that difference just by deciding what we do every day. So thank you. Thanks so much, Sandy. Your, your time, as always, is really appreciated. And the support of your office as we go forward is, is just, it, it, it's just an easy connection that is made there with the community and that's really appreciated. It's also again my pleasure to introduce Mayor Claire Stewart. The, she came onto the council as mayor just at the start of the whole COVID <laughs> crisis, and it was a real roller coaster for this council. But they have shown their mettle in coping with that, and then not only chewing gum but walking at the same time. And certainly, in terms of that multi-skilled approach, multi-pronged approach. The um, commitment of the Noosa Council to accepting the science of, of climate change, of recognising that local government has a role to play, of putting commitment to that in both the environment strategy and in the economic development strategy with the, the aim and the uh, assessment of being a smart biosphere. And you cannot be any smarter I reckon, than being recognising the opportunities that are available for tackling climate change, the opportunities for young people for the future. Yes, there is a lot to be concerned about, but more importantly, when you start following what's happening, there are fantastic initiatives. So recently, the Noosa Council uh, put in this application to the federal government for the first community battery in Noosa, at Noosaville. We think it's a strong application. We are enormously grateful to the council 
for recognising that local government now, and it has been for many years, is more than roads, rates and rubbish. It is so much more. And they've put their hand up, they've said, yes, we want to be part of that innovative, smart biosphere. Please welcome Mayor Claire Stewart. Uh, good morning, everyone. I too would like to acknowledge the traditional owners, the Kabi Kabi, and pay my respects to the elders, past, present, and emerging. And of course, Sandy Bolton, our state MP, and thank the state government for the funding for this morning because mornings like this don't just happen. And they don't just happen with funding, but also they don't just happen because of remarkable volunteers like yourself. So Zen, thank you so much for all, this is the second one you've done. There is a lot of hard work that go into mornings like this and we appreciate and value your time and commitment uh, to um, working in this wonderful and important space. So thank you very much for, for this morning. Uh, we have at Council a very ambitious target of reaching net zero emissions by 2026. And we can't just do it alone. So we value partnerships with Zen, our other local community groups and our businesses uh, to seek ways to reduce our emissions and to reach that target. Uh, what are we doing at council? We often get asked and, and Vivian very kindly mentioned some things, but I've got Annie Nolan here who's our expert in this area. So if I miss anything, Annie, please shout out and, and correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but we have a uh, climate change response plan. We've established a community reference group to work in partnership with council as well as the coastal hazards adaptation plan. We also have over 630 kilowatts of rooftop solar PV across all our buildings and facilities, making them more energy efficient. We have a specific grant project which is aimed at our community groups to help our community groups reduce their emissions. And I believe the grants are open until the 12th of April, so please spread the word because we really encourage people to take up that opportunity. In partnership recently with the Sunshine Coast Regional Council, we've developed a regional climate action roadmap to prepare our communities for the increasing risks and impacts of climate change. That's a really great collaboration uh, with, with the coast in that regard, working together to reduce our emissions and climate change. Now, climate change, Vivian, as you said, it brings with it a huge amount of risks. Uh, we know about the weather changes, the flood events, the bushfires, the increased rain, the increased heat. But as you also said, Vivian, it brings enormous opportunity. And uh, especially working in a smart biosphere, and I acknowledge Fiona uh, here from the Noosa Biosphere, and within that smart biosphere, there are those wonderful opportunities that we can all engage in. One. Community batteries is one such thing. So on the 25th of October last year, uh, the federal government announced, it was a huge announcement, 200 million for the Community Batteries for Household Solar Program. Now the sole purpose of this program and this grant was to deliver community batteries to support lower electricity bills and emissions, support storage of excess solar energy and reduce pressure on the grid. So basically it's, it's a game changer for so many in our communities. We recently, as Vivian has said, we along Noosa Council, along with Yarra Energy and of course Zen, put in an application to the federal government for $500,000 uh, for, for a community battery, one of 400, which will be, as Vivian said, distributed across Australia. Uh, last September, I was in Canberra with other South East Queensland mayors and I had the opportunity to speak to Minister Bowen directly. And he was talking about these community batteries. And he said there's 400 across Australia. And I knew that Noosa, we are absolutely placed. At, we are at the forefront with everything we're doing in our, in our climate response uh, to, to get a battery. So we can, I'm very confident, or fingers crossed, that we will receive that battery because we are. there is no better community or shire place to receive one than Noosa. So it's really exciting. And Vivian, as you said, and, and Sandy, you talked about um, you know, being many, many hundreds. Vivian, we talked about 10 at Ipswich going in. It's not just about one, it's about um, the plan I believe is to have a number of community batteries across our shire. And that's why it's so important that mornings like this occur. So the community are informed, they can ask questions and we take the community on the journey with us because uh, it, you know, it, it will be something that is start, starting small but hopefully it will expand into much bigger things. So again, I just want to thank Zen. We are very fortunate to have a wonderful partner in Zen uh, and all the team. Uh, as Sandy said, this, everyone here is a volunteer. 
So you give up your time, your time away from your families, your time away from, um, from you know, pleasure to, to be here and to, to work hard for our community. So we're really grateful. And uh, I'm gonna use a quote which I've used before, so please bear with me if you've heard it. But uh, Margaret Mead once said, uh, when she was talking about what communities can do and people can do, she said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. And that's what we're doing here today. So thank you very much and good morning. Thank you so much, Mayor Claire.